Hey guys, today I will talk about Altros, a game that is quite popular among the Metroidvania community, and for good reasons. This game has a unique and mesmerizing art design that will captivate you from the start, but that is just the tip of the iceberg. In this video, I won't dwell on how gorgeous this game is because you can find plenty of reviews praising its visuals. Instead, I will dive deeper into what makes this game unique and how the developers have crafted a game that harmonizes with Altro's beautiful psychedelic world. If you haven't played this game yet and are considering buying it, don't worry. I will give you a taste of what Altro's offers without spoiling much. So without further ado, let's get started. Our journey begins with our protagonist, OG, waking up stranded in Sarcophagus, a mysterious and psychedelic world. The game immediately captivates me with its multiple branching paths and choices. I often wondered if I was going the right way, feeling lost and curious at the same time. Spoiler alert! I was. The ambient music enhanced this sense of uncertainty and immersion. creating a unique game experience from the beginning. As I explored Sarcophagus, I encountered one of its most essential inhabitants, Gardner. He introduced me to the first core mechanic of the game, planting. The game did this subtly and beautifully. I watched Gardner talk to himself, carefree to my presence, and plant a seed in the ground. The game showed me that I was not unique or important, yet. I was just another creature living in Sarcophagus. I love that. This is one of Ultra's many strengths. It smoothly introduced me to new elements and mechanics, as if by chance, making my experience very immersive. Soon I discovered that I was trapped in an illusory loop, and every time I made some progress in breaking free, the world around me reset, and with it, the inhabitants' memory to some extent, including our protagonist, of course. Many good games have often integrated various elements from different genres seamlessly. In fact, they may surprise us pleasantly with these elements. Altros did this well. The world of Altros resets, and a new cycle begins. I wonder if I did something wrong. Was there something I could have done to avoid that? I soon realized that the world of Altros is inspired by the roguelite genre, adding a twist I was not expecting. That was unexpected. Just like any other roguelite, I can keep some progressions. Altros offers multiple ways to progress. Throughout Sarcophagus, I had access to various checkpoints known as the Cortex, where I could unlock different skills. I lost progression on these skills every time the world restarted, but I could find items that would let me save one skill to memory. Thus, our protagonist retained the memory of that skill and could use it in each new cycle. Whether it's music, movies, or video games, we often feel that no original ideas are left to explore, or even old ideas that could be executed with such creativity that they feel new, something to stimulate our dopamine levels. Altros has a core mechanic that I have never seen as an essential part of any games before. As I mentioned earlier, planting seed is a core mechanic in this game. There are plenty of different seeds, each with a different purpose. For example, a seed called Sprugen, the sprouts, allowed me to climb walls while another allowed me to use its branches to pass through different areas. I soon saw how much I could influence the psychedelic world of Altros, as sarcophagus changed before my eyes, allowing me to access areas I could not before. I was becoming more and more mesmerized. Now, you might wonder, what if I plant the wrong seed in the wrong area? Well, this is where I introduce you to another mechanic this game offers called the tool. In each cycle, I got access to various tools with different purposes. For our example here, there is a tool called Digger that allowed me to dig out seeds from underground in case I wanted to swap seeds or I planted the wrong ones. These different tools also allowed me to access locations I could not before, thus helping me progress through the game in a way that harmonized well with everything happening. 
Regarding video games, it is no secret that I enjoy games that are difficult when it comes to boss battles and getting through mobs. When I set foot into Sarcophagus, it soon became apparent that Ultros is not about combat difficulty. Under normal settings, enemies or bosses barely did any damage, and there is even an option in settings where I could decrease the damage I took. This made it clear that the developers did not want the combat to get in the way of the storytelling. Regardless, combat still felt good and it had some nice touches. Plus, I got to meet a baddie. Ultros is a game that focuses on exploration, puzzle solving, and storytelling. This might sound boring to some of you, but trust me, it is not. Ultros is a game that challenged me differently, not by testing my reflexes or skills, but by testing my curiosity and creativity. The game rewarded me for being adventurous and observant for trying new things and for experimenting with different combination of seeds and tools. The game also surprised me with unexpected events and twists, making each cycle feel fresh and exciting. Altros is a game that made me feel and think and not just play. Wanting to feel connected with the things we do is a common human trait. Video games are no exception. We all have a guilty pleasure game that we enjoy simply because it makes us feel connected in some way. Game developers can achieve this connection in various ways. In my opinion, the last piece of the puzzle that made my experience with Altroads such a solid one was the story. That was my connection. At first, it seemed simple and straightforward, but as I played through different cycles, I made new characters, unlocked new dialogues, and explored new locations. I began to see the hidden layers of the story. Sarcophagus became a familiar yet eerie place. That's when I wondered if there was a deeper meaning behind my journey. Whether the developers had a clear-cut story in mind was unclear to me. But if you ask me, I would say they want my imagination to run wild. After all, I was playing in a psychedelic world. I do not want to spoil much, so if you guys are interested, I could make a separate video interpreting the story and my opinion on what this game is trying to convey. Altros is a unique title. It is a beautiful, mysterious, and captivating game, just like the sarcophagus itself. It is a game that posed no combat challenge for me, but still kept me captivated until the end. I have not experienced that since I played a Barbie horse game in fourth grade to impress a girl. This game offers a distinctive way of progression along with traditional elements like puzzles and skills. So if you're looking for a new Metroidvania game that would keep you engaged for 10 to 15 hours, then you should buy this game. My advice is to approach this game with patience and an open mind. You will not regret it. With that said, I'll see you all in my next video.